The ultimate battle is here. USB versus XLR mic. Which one is better? Hello guys, Michael here from Micro Audio and today I have a topic that uh, in the audio community we are hearing a lot about it. It's the USB mic versus XLR mic. Let me show both of them. This here are two almost identical microphones. This is the first one and this is the second one. If you are not very audio savvy, you won't notice almost any difference except this here and this right here. Most of you will know what is this here. Yeah, do you see it? If you have ever worked with audio before, you will know what this is. My goal today is to show you what's the difference between this and this, or even more closer, the difference between this and this here. Why is this battle starting to become very hard on the internet in the last two or three years? Because XLR mics are more expensive, but their quality is better. But is it? We'll see today. And this right here is the USB mic. Quality is amazing, but their price and their ease of use is also amazing. So let's start with the USB microphone. This right here is my favorite USB microphone and it's Rode NT-USB Plus. It's amazing microphone, has those two knobs right here, has the headphone jack and of course the USB 3.0 input. Output, output, but it's, yes, it's output. So, yep, it has this golden dot right here, which indicates that this is the side where we are going to talk. So, if the golden dot is right here, we will talk right like this. Not like this, not like this, we will talk, golden dot is here, we will talk just like this in the mic. It depends on different mics, but usually on the USB mics, you will have some information where you should talk. Uh, on some microphones, you can also see through them, and then you will see the, the diaphragm inside and based on that you will know how and where to talk. Let's talk about pros and cons about USB microphone. So pros, so one very great feature is that the USB mics are plug and play. So you can very simply just using any USB type cable which you get with your phone for example, you can just plug it in plug to your PC, your tablet, your phone and start recording immediately. So that's the biggest advantage of the USB microphones. The second one is you don't need an audio interface, which is an extra cost, because with USB mics you need audio interface in order to connect your microphone to your PC. Audio interface is transferring the analog signal so of me speaking right now, it transfer it to the digital signal, signal, which is then recorded in your PC or in your tablet or wherever. The USB mic, it doesn't need to do that because the, let's say, audio interface or this tech side is inside of it. And it's already transferring the analog signal from what you are talking or singing directly to the digital audio inside of this body and why USB cable is transferring it to the PC. The third thing is they are more affordable. Their price is way better than XLR mics. And what's even better, they are suitable for beginners, especially for some of you who are starting a podcast, maybe for example, and you want to have a nice, a good gear. So the fastest way to go is to buy one of these or any other USB mic, which is good quality. Rode is usually known by the great USB mics. Some downsides of using USB mic is that it's limited in terms of professional audio quality because the XLR mics are created with a goal in mind and that's to pick up voice and then to record it somewhere or to pick up singing and then to record it to transfer it to the PC or wherever. USB mics are not and because of that they are lacking a bit of professional audio quality. For most of you, the quality of the USB mic is going to be just fine and your listeners won't notice any difference. Don't stress too much about it. 
Second thing is you can't connect USB mic to any external device. If you are doing a voiceover, for example, you may consider to connect your microphone to a external device which will reduce the noise, which will improve your audio quality by enhancing lows or enhancing highs, etc. You can do that inside of the digital audio workstation or any other software, but you can do that just by using your USB mic. And the third thing is USB mic can't be hooked up for very long distances. For example, on stage, when you have XLR mic, you can connect it 50 meters. You have DI boxes here and there, and they are charging the signal and everything's going fine. With USB mic, you can only do two, three, four meters max, and that's all, because the signal will be lost after that. And the, that's the main problem with USB mics. For most uses of recording a intermediate beginner voiceover at home, or for recording a podcast, or recording even a song, but for your own use or smaller project, it's going to be just fine. I recommend USB mic. It's way simpler than the LAR mic. It's much affordable. It's very easy to connect. It's plug and play, no brainer. All right. Let's now go to its competitor and that's XLR mic. Look at this beauty. It's nice, it's heavy. This one I don't like so much, but I use it because it looks kind of cool and they're very similar one to each other. So this is SE Electronics X1A, which is around 100, 100 bucks mic, I think, 150 bucks mic, something like that. I have here Rode NT1A. Can I show it to you? I think I can. Yep, it's this one here. I love it, my first mic ever. It's amazing and it's XLR mic as well. First of all, audio quality. It was always the best and it will stay the best, I think, for a couple of years at least. Uh, because of how fast the tech is rising, you can't guarantee anything for more than a year or two. So yes, the professional audio quality, the audio quality is amazing on those just because of the audio transfer and because of the audio interface on the other part and everything, professionals always aim at XLR mic. And you should too. If you plan to have a professional setup with professional audio quality, with professional things, you need to go with a professional microphone. Probably much more expensive than this one in this case, in that case, but as I said, some of these are amazing and you can buy them very cheap for example like Rode NT1A it's around 150 bucks and it's great mic. They are compatible with all professional and amateur and beginner audio gear. You can hook them on your audio interface on with your speakers, with your mixers and everything. Of course you need some ex extra cables etc but that's probably won't be a problem. So yep you need to connect them and why do they call them XLR mics? Because it's here. This is XLR port, XLR input, it has many different names, but usually, yes, this is XLR. It has those three. Can I? No, I can't. Yes, it's dark in there. So it has those three pins, if you see. The third thing is you have better control over audio quality. These mics can pick much more noise and they can pick, of course, much more details. The best thing is they are suitable for live performances for concerts, for gigs, for everything. You can't find or you can't beat them in any other situation because they can hook up a XLR cable on very long distances and you have so many different options to share their signal with those wireless transmitters, etc. So on stage, there is no doubt the XLR mics are always the best choice. Now let's go for the cons. Number one is price. They are much more pricey. You have different model, different stages. If you go with a budget mic, usually USB one is the better choice. The second thing is uh, they require an audio interface. So here is the extra cost as well. Because if you want to hook up one of these to your PC, you will need an audio interface. For example, just like this one here. This is the input 
for one of your mics with the cable you will hook this here not like this but you will use the cable one side here other side here and that's all then you have here the usb connection and with usb you will plug it in directly to your pc and you will have the same thing as you have with the usb mic just with the usb mic you don't need this and you don't need one pair of cables so because of that they are simpler to use and if you want to achieve better results you will need to learn a bit more because this mic is actually great for talking about that step because you see we have two controls right here and the one is for the i don't know if you can see one is for the boost you have minus 20 and you have a zero. It depends on your setup. And the second one is if you want your mic to be flat or if you want a low top, if you want to cut low frequencies. So this is high pass filter actually. So let's wrap up this video. The conclusion is if you want a simpler, cheaper, easy to use solution with not so great quality, but if it's not that important to you, if you are doing a small project or if you want to start small and then maybe scale usb mic always go for it 100 bucks 50 bucks 150 bucks something like that if you can go with it it will be simple to you you will hook it up into your tablet or your phone or your pc and it's going to be very very simple if you want to spend more if you want to invest in your own studio if you plan on doing voiceover or doing singing or making money with audiobooks etc yes don't even try to think about usb go with the xl mic again 100 150 bucks plus 70 80 50 100 150 bucks for audio interface you will need and then of course you will need some skills to make it perfect inside of your digital audio workstation again for podcast i will always go with the usb mic for simple voiceover again i will go with a usb mic for anything professional amateur for anything what it brings you money in if you have professional setups go with this one here not this microphone here is not that good but go with the xlr option as well Please let me know what's your choice. What will you pick in the comments down below? Is it XLR or is it USB mic? I would really like to know because it's the question that bothers a lot of you and I hope I solve this problem for you and see you in the next episode. Till next time.